fresh out of our detail shop is this Survivor 1966 Ford Thunderbird with 109,000 miles on it. It's a medium blue paint, um, has just been buffed out from bumper to bumper. Um, this is a what I would call a, a combination of an original paint and uh, one repaint on it, the way it looks to me. Really decent looking car, but uh, you can tell over here on the top of the uh, roof and stuff, the paint is thinned. Um, paint's uh, oxidized off here on the roof area. The previous owner has owned this car for 20 or 30 years. I bought this in a 65 uh, T-Bird convertible from the same owner. He had them both for a long time. A uh, 390 motor, he did pull, pull the motor out, went through the bearings and stuff here in the last uh, five to 10 years. So the car has done a lot more sitting than driving. Um, we got it in and uh, went through the uh, power booster on it. Um, had that rebuilt and we also put a new master cylinder on it. Um, did whatever wheel cylinders needed to be replaced on it as well. So went through, went through and did a lot of brake work on it. We installed a new battery in it. Uh, gave it a tune up. Um, just did uh, all the mechanical things that we found that necessary on it. engine compartment really looks nice. It's all painted blue and stuff under the hood. And as we go around and we talk about the paint a little bit, um, like I said, the tops of the car, the paint was thin on the roof. Um, the, the hood, the trunk hood, stuff like that. The paint, I didn't notice any paint thin on it, but it just sat for, you know, sat that way for a long time. So uh, we brought it back to a good shine. It's not an excellent shine, um, but it's a very presentable uh, survivor condition, 66 Thunderbird. Um, bumpers have a few little tiny dings in them, a um, couple little scratches in the front bumper, but again, it's been polished out really nicely. The grill looks really nice. The bird emblem on the grill is in excellent shape. As far as the condition and stuff on the paint on the hood, we have a couple little paint chips around the edges. Um, there again, it's you can tell it's got some buffing compound and stuff in the in those little grooves that was that we didn't get out. There's a ding here in the top of the fender. You just feel it right there. Paint crack here. So I mean the car's got a lot of paint imperfections. Um, not going to get them all pointed out to you but I will point out blisters and stuff like that. Um, a lot of little tiny door dings. or not door dings but little little tiny little chips along the side of this door. As far as our rocker panel goes, the rocker's in excellent shape. The lower fender's in excellent shape down there. Very solid. Um, it's got the white wall tires. They all cleaned up really nicely with the Thunderbird hubcaps. Our door gap is in great shape. The body lines line up nice there. We got some spider webbing on the paint right here. This little circle down in here. Um, Got one little blister right here, very small, about the size of my end of my finger, and a couple tiny ones right down here. Other than that, lower fender looks really good. Behind the wheel, behind the rear wheel, we have a few little blisters down here too. Way down low. We look up and down the side. The body has a really good shine on it. Um, has a very nice straight body. Just a great looking old bird. Um, the back balance does have some paint missing. Um, like I said, the paint job's probably 30 years old. It's got a chip there. It's got a piece of paint missing right here behind the license plate. As we look at our back bumper, it has a shine to it, but if we get right on top of it, you can see all the little tiny little stress cracks in here, the little stress hairline little claws in the bumper. Tail light lens looks really nice. It's got the sequential tail lights. Um, the 
roof is excellent as far as uh, no dings, no hail, nothing like that. You can just see some, the paint just is gone. You know, original paint or whatever is just gone up here. Just been buffed through and just thin. So we open up the doors. Um, both of the interior lights work. Um, the door panel is in excellent shape on the passenger side, very nice. Window cranks and stuff are in great shape too. Door handle looks nice. Even that cup here is in great shape. A lot of times that's all cracked and brittle. The rubbers appear to be original and they are they are the original rubbers. You can just tell they're hard up here and starting to crack. Corner of the door looks great. It's a, it looks to me like original paint here in the jams, guys. Passenger side seat looks to be in great shape. I don't see any seam splits here at all. The chrome and stuff around the seats in good shape. Again, appears to be original carpet. Um, the interior appears to be all original to me with original carpet. You can just see that the carpet is just getting thin back here, faded a little bit. Back seat is in excellent shape. The um, both of the. Uh, yeah, they both work. Both of the uh, lights on the rear sail panel work as well. Headliner's in great shape. We have a few little, I'm guessing just a, looks like a few little tiny stains, little spots in it. But the headliner's in fantastic shape. I don't see any rips or tears or cuts or anything in it. So really looks nice on the interior of this car. Again, the miles are 09. Um, judging by the interior, I'm sure it's 109,000. Very well taken care of miles. Uh, dash pad is excellent. There's no cracks anywhere here in this dash pad. If a guy down the road wanted to and you wanted to make this uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous car, some new weather stripping and a new paint job would really make this nice. Like I said, the body's really nice on it. The paint looks great at 10, 20 foot. Um, you get up close, it shows its wear, but the interior is very nice on it and original, in my opinion. As far as our trunk lid goes, you can see that's been repainted um, and when we buffed it, it's got, you can't really feel it, it's just got some um, paint shrinkage and stuff in the trunk lid area. As far as our lower quarter, a couple little blisters down here again, but um, actually this uh, driver's side is in better shape than the passenger, but it does also have Nothing big. On either side has big blisters, but it does have some little blisters in it. Over the wheel well looks great. Um, we have a couple little paint chips right in this area. A couple very, very small blisters again. Our rocker panel looks great, except for we do have a uh, we have a few paint chips just like this. There's one there and there's two up here. One there and one there. Lower fender looks great. Front fender looks good. We got a couple little touch-ups right here. One by each finger there. Um, we also have a little paint chip right there. Car really sounds nice and runs nice and just a good overall appearance on it. Driver's side door fits real well as well. also. Open up the door. Bottom corner, like I said, uh, I don't think the jams have ever been touched on it. Bottom corner is perfect. There is our uh, information on our door tag. Body is 63A, color is G, trim is 22. As far as our door panel here, door panel is in excellent shape except for this crack right here, which is very common in them. It does have a remote mirror and that's working. Carpet along the bottom shows just a little bit of fade to it, um, but I definitely wouldn't replace it. I mean, it's very presentable for original.
Uh, car does have power seat but does not have power windows. Inside the uh, door jam area is very solid and nice. Um, back seat area, I know I showed you from the other side, it's got the armrest that pulls down, has got the blue factory seat belts, and the back seat, guys, is in excellent condition. Um, I don't see any seam splits, I don't see any issues with it at all, just very nice. Window goes up and down really nice as well. All these weather stripping and felts and stuff are original, and they are slightly cracked. Uh, this rubber's in good shape, but the roof rail rubber is dry rotted as well, just hard. Um, driver's side seat usually always shows the worst wear um, on the top of the seat. Um, you can see the seams, uh, the stitches are just coming just a little bit loose here. Nothing to be concerned about at any time soon. Um, seat back is in good shape. Bottom of the seat's in great shape as well. Just shows just a little bit of wear along this cord. Um, there again, I think that's original seat. <clears throat> Driver's window goes up nice. Let's check out the gauges and stuff, see what works. Original factory AM radio works. Heater works. As far as the air conditioning, the belt's all hooked up and stuff, um, but not sure if that's going to work or not. Wipers are in working order. Map light works on and off. Um, car does show that it's charging. Temperature gauge is working. It's way down on the cool side and it's been running here about 10 minutes. Um, gas gauge does work. On the way out here, I put uh, four gallon in it. Oil pressure gauge shows right over in the medium. Um, odometer shows 109 or 09692. Um, also, the speedometer does work as well. Horn works. Um, turning signals on the hood also work. Now we went through the brakes and we did put a, uh, the boosters are very expensive and we had to send them in to get it rebuilt so we did that, put a new master on it and the brakes work good and they stop good. They're just still just a little bit touchy um, when you first, I'm going to go ahead and show you when I first apply the brake there's just a little bit of a, a grab to it or a, the pedal pushes down just a little bit firm so as soon as it hits it, uh, it stops you right away so um, might need a little more adjustment on that. As far as our shocks go, the car seems to really go down the road nice and the shocks feel good. Car steers nice as well. Yeah, we're going to apply the brakes. Yeah, the brakes work really well. No pull left or right. It's got a nice full pedal. Any picks up speed well, and that ribbon tack works, or whip, ribbon speedometer, excuse me, works really well. Our wing window is open. Even with those uh, hard rubbers, as far as going down the road 65 mile an hour, um, very quiet inside the car. So the car seals up very nicely with the windows. So um, even with those hard rubbers, nothing to be concerned about right now. I wouldn't worry about it. 60, 65 miles an hour down the road, punch it down, it's got good acceleration, handles the road well. Really great old T-Bird. Very nice survivor car, drives good, interior's excellent for original. There's our brakes. Good car.